Professors and students from different universities met at Macquarie University to commemorate the life of former President of South Africa, Nelson Mandela. This day was chosen by the African Union and named Nelson Mandela Day. They have described Mandela as a greatest leader of humanity who strived to fight for freedom, non-racial and democracy in South Africa. This year's memorial lecture focused on legacy of Mandela and his role in higher education in the African Union Agenda 2063 that emphasized total liberation of African countries. An international consultant on economic transformation, Professor Augustus Nwagaba, however said Mandela emphasized that countries needed to invest in education as an engine to development, prioritizing science, technology and innovation. He argued that the investment in education is the greatest inheritance you can give your child. And I will argue here, let me argue here, that any revolution for transformation of, the, of, of an economy, transformation of the country, both historical and empirical realities that we have, are based on education, particularly the, 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 the investment in the airlines. South African High Commissioner to Uganda, His Excellency Lulama Lulu, Mary Teresa encouraged students in higher institutions of learning to get inspiration from Nelson Mandela saying that it always looks impossible until it is done. It is through education that a child of farm workers can become the president of a great nation. President Mandela said, it always looks impossible until it is done. So to all the students here, do it and you will see it is not impossible. It is indeed very possible. The Vice Chancellor of Macquarie University, Professor Banabas Nawangwe, said Nelson Mandela symbolizes freedom. There is no other person in the entire known human history who symbolizes freedom like Mandela does. The universe is committed to nurturing leaders for Africa. That is why we emphasize discipline. Without discipline, we will not achieve our goals. Other professors emphasized equality and access to education plus integrity if higher education is to be used as an engine to emancipate Africa from marginalization. I'm Navka Farida and Stephen Kalisia in Makere.